All right, for this video, I wanted to do a walkthrough of the IRS Form 8959 and how to calculate your additional Medicare tax during the year. So in our fact pattern, our taxpayer here, John Q. Smith, has wages in excess of $200,000 for the year. So he needs to complete this form and calculate the extra Medicare tax. Now, he also has some extra Social Security taxes withheld. And so we'll discuss why that happened to him a little later when we get into the fact pattern. But in this example, we're going to have both the additional Medicare tax computation and some excess Social Security taxes withheld that need to be reflected on his 1040. So we've got the full 1040 here. We'll go through those forms and all the other schedules. We've also got the sample W-2s. So we've got the first W-2 from employer number one. And then we've got the second W-2 from employer number two uh, when John leaves employer number one to go take a new job. Okay, so we've got those W-2s, the 1040. And we've also got one slide here covering some background on this excess Social Security tax and the additional Medicare tax, and then some details on the fact pattern. So if we start with the Social Security issue, for 2023, the maximum amount of wages that are subject to that Social Security tax are $160,200. Now for 2024, the maximum wages increase to $168,600. And as, as always, there is no limit on the amount of earnings that are subject to the Medicare tax of 1.45%. So Social Security taxes are 6.2% on your Social Security wages up to that uh, ceiling. And then the Medicare taxes of 1.45% apply to all wages, all of your Medicare wages. Now, the additional Medicare tax, this is a tax of an extra 0.9% on your total compensation if it's over $200,000 for single filers and head of household filers. 250k for married filing joint taxpayers and then it's 125k uh, for married filing separate taxpayers now the additional medicare tax of 0.9 percent is calculated and added to your tax bill when you're doing your return so when you do the 8959 you calculate how much additional medicare tax you owe and you re reconcile that with how much was actually withheld now, what can be confusing about this is how much is required to be withheld, right? So your employer has to withhold the additional Medicare tax of 0.9% when wages within that company exceed 200000 for the year. Now, employers don't really account for wages earned uh, from other employers. So what we'll see in this fact pattern is because John had uh, basically capped out on the Social Security side and had some Medicare uh, additional tax withheld on the first job. The second employer basically just treated him as a brand new employee that didn't have any other earnings during the year. And so we have these discrepancies which require uh, computation of the additional tax and a refund of that excess Social Security tax. And so most often this does happen when you have multiple jobs during the year or if you are an employee and you run your own business, let's say you have uh, some self-employed income uh, reported on Schedule C, you might have these issues as well. Now let's look at the fact pattern here. We'll take a closer look at those W-2s and then see how all this comes together on the return. So we have John Smith here. He's a single filing taxpayer living in Florida. He worked for employer number one from January through October, 2023. His box one wages, so that's the federal uh, wages subject to federal income tax, show 200,000 of wages. Box three, social security wages are 160, 200. And then the Medicare wages are $205,000. Now, the employer withheld that additional 0.9% of Medicare taxes on the $5,000 excess. So Medicare wages of $205,000 that exceeded the two hundred dollars So the employer did withhold the additional 0.9% on that extra amount, $5,000. Now John left employer number one and he started a new job with employer number two in November. And so his second W-2 shows box one wages of thirty k. Social Security wages and Medicare wages of 31,000. Now, because this second employer 
doesn't really know about the previous taxes withheld at employer number one, there's no extra Medicare tax withheld on the 31,000, and he still withholds 6.2% uh, on the Social Security wages of $31,000. And so that's what we're gonna see when we look at the W-2s. And so when everything is said and done, what we'll find is that John effectively is paid Social Security taxes on wages of 191,200, so well over the $160,000 mark. So uh, the extra 31,000, he paid the extra tax of $1,922, so he's gonna get basically credit for a refund of that amount, but he has to calculate the additional Medicare tax of 0.9% on the amount that wasn't subject at the uh, to withholding at the employer level. So let's look at the W-2s and then the return and hopefully more of this math will make sense here. So if we look at the form 8959 for the additional Medicare tax, in part one, uh, we need to pull two items, right? So the first one is what is the threshold based on our filing status? So if we look at box five, we're a single filing taxpayer, so we're gonna use $200,000 as that threshold. Now in item one, it asks us, report the total Medicare wages and tips from form W-2 box five. If you have more than one W-2, enter the total amounts from box five here on line one. So if we look at each W-2, we have box five wages here, $205,000. And then on the second one, we have box five wages of $31,000. So if we add those two up, we get 236,000 in total wages, uh, total Medicare wages that is, that were reported in box five. So now line six, we take the excess. So subtract line five from line four, we get $36,000. And then multiply $36,000 by that 0.9% to get the additional Medicare tax. So at this point, what we've computed is based on the total excess Medicare wages, we should be paying an extra $324 in that 0.9% additional Medicare tax. Now at the bottom here, so we're not completing part two because we don't have any self-employment income. We don't have any income subject to the Railroad Retirement Tax Act, so no compensation there. So we're just moving on down to part four. The total additional Medicare tax that we owe is gonna be $324. And as it asks here, we report this amount on Schedule 2, line 11. So if we look at Schedule 2, scroll down to part two, line 11, we have the additional Medicare tax owed of $324. Now, once you have that entered, in part five, we reconcile, okay, well, we owe the 324, but how much was already withheld by the employer? So if we look at line 19, we have Medicare taxes withheld from all the W-2s, that's box six. If you have more than one, enter the total of all those amounts from box six. So if we look at his W-2, we have Medicare taxes withheld from employer number two of 450. And then we have Medicare taxes withheld in box six of $3,018. So if we add the 450 and the 3,018, we get $3,468 of Medicare tax withheld. The amount from line one up at the top here is $236,000. So multiply line 20 times 1.45. This is the regular Medicare withholding. So we have the regular Medicare withholding. We have the extra additional Medicare tax that was withheld. So on line 22, we subtract line 21 from line 19, and we're left with $46. So what this amount is showing is that we had an extra $46 of Medicare tax withheld during the year, and that was on that extra amount from employer one. So remember, if we go to the W-2 on the first employer, we have 205,000 in Medicare wages, 5,000 was the excess. And so if we take the, the $5,000 excess times 0.09, we get the $45 
uh, we can see here there's some rounding, right? It's off by a dollar because of the rounding, which is fine. Uh, but what we're seeing here is on our W-2, we had this extra uh, Medicare tax withheld. Uh, and so we're going to get credit for that on page two of our 1040, right? So we, we report in two places, right? So uh, include this amount on uh, line 24 and then also include the amount on your federal income tax withholding form 1040 line 25C. So if I go to page two of the 1040, line 25 row C other forms, there's our $46 credit. So we're getting, uh, so effectively what's happening here, right? We see the $324 amount. We're adding $324 in tax for the additional Medicare tax, but we're giving ourselves credit of 46 that was with already withheld at the employer level, okay? So once those items are entered, that completes the form 8959. And so now we have to account for that extra social security uh, taxes that were withheld uh, because we had two jobs during the year. So if we look back at the W-2s really quickly here. Uh, so the W-2s, so the first one, because John's wages were over the 160200 limit for employer number one, he's already paid the maximum amount of Social Security required for the year. So that's his limit, 16200 He paid in 9932 So he is technically done for the year as far as paying Social Security taxes. But because he left this job and started a new one, the new employer uh, can't factor in those Social Security wages already accounted for. They basically have to start him from scratch. So because he has the 31000 in Social Security wages, the employer withholds 6.2%, which is the $1,922. So this is the amount of the excess that has to be factored into on the return. So if we go to the worksheet for excess Social Security wages, we can see here at the top, line one, it's asking us to add all the Social Security tax that was withheld but it can't be more than $9,932 for each employer, right? So the tax is shown in box four of your W-2. So we've got $1,922, employee number two, then we have $9,932. So we add those two up and we get $11,854. We don't have any uncollected social security tax on tips or group life policies. So the total amount that we had withheld is 11,854. Now the limit for the year is that 160,200 times 6.2%. So we got $9,932 is the social security tax limit. So the extra is that 1,922. So now once we have the extra amount, where does that get reported? Well, it gets reported on page two of the 1040 in the payment section on line 31. So $1,922 there is, uh, we're basically getting credit for that. So that'll increase our tax refund. And it's also reported on schedule three on line 15. So if you go to schedule three, scroll on down to part two, uh, line 11, we've got the excess social security and tier one, our RTA taxes withheld, $1,922. All right, so that covers it for this tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Uh, a lot of moving pieces here. You can see if you've got multiple jobs during the year, you potentially have to contend with these extra Medicare taxes and maybe some over withheld Social Security. Uh, so hope that was helpful. And as always, I appreciate you watching the videos and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks.